Testing, testing. Speaker seems to be working. Okay, it told me to test my speaker. Um, forgot to do Saturday's Bible study. Okay, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened for you. God's not a mag magic genie. Uh, this goes back to whatever you may ask. It will be given. Bible. No. It says these things in the context of accepting God's overall plan for you. Um, you get into prayer. Prayer is bowing to the will of the Lord. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. When Jesus prayed, he said, not my will, Father, your will be done. Uh, prayer is basically bowing to the will of the Lord. The Lord did say, I know the things you need of before you ask because he's already got your life planned out because he's already declared the end from the beginning. So just be careful when you read things like that to think that God's a magic genie and you're going to wish, quote unquote, pray for something and it's going to be given to you. That's... Um, contacting demonic spirits can make that happen for you when you're a goat for everyone that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth and the things you're truly asking are salvational things and this is only applying to sheep uh, only sheep are truly called to seek and they find and they are called to knock and the doors are opened or what man is there of you whom if a son asks for bread, you give him a stone or ask for a fish and he give him a serpent. If ye then being evil know how to give gifts unto your children, how much more shall, shall your father, which is heaven, give good things to them that ask? And this all relates to your salvation. Not maybe during World War III and you're going to die of starvation and you're like, well, I'm asking God for food and I'm not getting it. Well, that's because that's not what that Bible verse is talking about. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. All things whatsoever should do to you. Interesting. And I look at that in the New Living. Sorry, it was 12. Do to others whatever you like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law. Treat others as you'd like to be treated, basically. Okay. Wasn't catching that. So here you go with these two Bible verses. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way. And that's why all your streets are named Broadway. That lead up to destruction because they like to make fun of it. And many there be which go therein, thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few be that find it. And it's a calling. It's not any free will finding. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, who teach free will. Inwardly they are ravenous wolves. They also teach hell's eternal torment. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles even? So every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Amen to that. Let's continue on with Nebuchadnezzar's uh, being called out of the world. The process as he's writing to you in Daniel 4. That same hour was the thing fulfilled upon me, Nebuchadnezzar. But he's writing in the third person right now. And he was driven from men and did eat grass as oxen. His body was wet with the dew of heaven and his hairs were grown like eagle's feathers and his nails were like bird's claws. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, now he's back in the first person. <laughs> I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven and mine understanding returned unto me. And I blessed the most high God and I praised and honored him that liveth forever, whose dominion is everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation. 
and all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, as he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand or say unto him, why doest thou? Which is exactly straight out of Romans 9, 11 through 24. God having, being the potter, having power over the clay. And there's a verse in there that says, why hast thou made me thus? So that's the same, same in the Old Testament as it is in the New Testament. I like that. At the same time, my reason returned unto me for the glory of my kingdom, mine honor, and my brightness returned unto me, and my counselors and my lords sought unto me, and I was established in my kingdom, and excellent majesty was added unto me. But he was now a sheep, and he wasn't having anything to do with those false gods, though, of course, he didn't turn the whole Babylonian system into... Um, a Jewish godly system, but he personally, he was now a grafted in Jew, basically. He got the call, and that's what that was about. So very good. Love y'all very much. Ask questions.